and welcome to episode two of Dungeons and Dragon Age. This week, the misfits are going to have a little bit more on their plates than they bargained for. But then again, they did last week too. Possibly next week. Ah, uh, what a lovely DM I am. So, where we left off, the hordes of the Archdemon attacked. And they made their way, as, as you made your way up to the watchtower, to signal for Loghain's forces to move in. To support King Kaelin and the Grey Wardens. Only for Loghain to signal a retreat and leave the battlefield. The watchtower struck by a projectile, now destroyed. And your final moments of last week's episode, you were falling. And that is where we're going to start this week. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so, Christian, is it just starting to fall? Is it like so? If you go with outside. building has been hit, the rocks are starting to move as the building is starting to tumble. Think of it as like the cartoon. Every every time you step on another brick, it falls. Okay, I would like to blast a hole in the wall in front of me with my breath. Okay. First thing. Okay. Explain to me what you're going to do afterwards. Because so, the, the wall in front of you is already sort of like falling. Yeah, so I want to go blast a hole. Okay. Because i got Drag, Drago and Bob with me. I am willing to sacrifice all three of my level one spell slots to cast shield to protect us three oh, okay. from any oncoming rubble. Okay. Shield, shield, shield. Yeah. Okay. So if we do jump out of the hole that I made, the oncoming rubble will not hurt us in it'll a sense. Fall, sure. Yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> okay. I mean, all, all right. Um, we'll say that's the plan yeah we'll, we'll, we'll say so uh, you take a deep breath what were you you were black dragon weren't you so acid damage so acid so you take Except. a deep breath and you fire it at the rocks in front of you as as uh, a large portion of the wall starts to move away from you um, this this section sort of starts to disintegrate as you start to uh, summon the magic around you Getting ready to cast shield. A new feeling comes over you. Something that you've never felt before. You start to be overcome with almost like weightlessness. Everything seems to start moving in slow motion. As all the rocks move past you, you and your compatriots all start to fall. And as you all eventually land on the ground, after a good 60 seconds of falling, Ada, you have now gained the use of Featherfall. Okay. Cool. Write that down. 60 seconds of falling? Felt like a whole week to me. Well, you know, I had to come up with a way that you weren't all going to die. We could kill you if you like. What's happening to the building? Well, the building... Does anybody fucking listen to me? I listened. I know it's collapsing, but, like, what's happened exactly? Well, so you you have now landed safely on the floor mm -hmm. uh, in yeah. a rubble, just a big pile of rubble. There is nothing left of the watchtower itself. It is completely right. and utterly crumbled. Uh, bare minimum ground floor walls remain around you. But right. funnily, funnily enough, still intact, the old rickety front doors still stand because that's quite humorous. <laughs> and that's where, are, that's where you are currently. What a bloody close, wasn't it? That was a close one indeed, yes, yeah. yes. Got a bit My arse hurts now. Yeah, mine does too. <laughs> Uh, oh, oh, here we go again. Oh, bloody hell, a gas leak, that. Oh, Sorry, Bob. 
It's been like a series. Um, do I still take down um, my free spell slots? DM. No, cool. you had that as a free one. Thank you. Well, I, I think we uh, we all owe Adder an apology, don't we? <laughs> he seems to say he seems to save our life with it with that. You didn't put a shield around me. I couldn't yeah. physically see you. Yeah, well, he he, you know, if it weren't for Adder, we'd all be apart from you, Major, we'd be dead. Yeah, good point. Yeah, and well that, done for saving them. He saved you as well, Mojo. At what point did you? He said he wanted to cast. He wanted to cast it so he could put a shield around those two. Yes, so he, around the three of them. But Not he didn't me. Cast that. He cast something completely separate, and the DM included all of you. Right, I let you off. All right, <laughs> then. <laughs> <laughs> he just took that. <laughs> Mojo reckons he just fell. If he did, he'd be fucking dead. <laughs> He's a strong lad, though. <laughs> oh, no. Right, well, no, well, no, 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 you just floated. Even me. You just floated to earth like a feather, mate. Well, that's all right, then. There you go. Cool. What now? You tell me. Well, we don't the know answer, anything. The answer, so I don't... I, all I know is them bastards for that army run away. They as, left them. As you pull up from laying oh, up really? after the feather fall, as you pull yourselves up and start brushing the dust off of your uh, your clothes, you look around. Fires burn on the castle of Os the, or the ruins of Ostagar that were in front of you. Oh, um, no. The bridge that you saw uh, now completely destroyed. Um, the forces that you would have seen, the hordes of the Archdemon, no longer there. They left as quick as they came. Um, as you look over onto the encampment, you can see very few survivors. Maybe a dozen bodies or so uh, walking around, but the area covered with um, bodies laying on the floor. Is there... Any chance I can see Duncan or King um, amongst uh, but what, Callan. survivors? Yeah, the survivors. Oh, I mean, you can roll me a perception check from where you are. I mean, you're a good you're you're a, a good couple of hundred yards away from the camp itself, but you can have a look. So oh. perception. That is. A 10 plus perception, three, so 13. I, from, from where you are looking over the camp, um, you can't see any uh, any of the armors that would represent Kalen having uh, his royal regalia. Um, you also can't see any Grey Warden armor walking around. It doesn't look good, guys. Of I don't see any Duncan nor King Kalen. What's the state of the? Is is there other people like sort of rolling around in agony and, and stuff? Well, this is the the bodies laying on the floor and the dozen people walking around. Oh, so all right on the campsite. Right. Oh bollocks. Um, well, maybe we should uh, go and go and see how they are. You know, see if anyone knows anything, and maybe see if we can help with the wounded over there. Maybe yeah, see if we can lend an end. Sounds like a plan, Drago. Good idea. Yeah, someone might have a plaster from the arch as well. It's bleeding a little bit. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get that checked out. That's it's an imagery funny. I want to see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing outside of character. It's embarrassing, it? <laughs> I'm just laughing outside of character, just picturing this barbarian with a plus up his ass. Well, it bloody hurts and it's bleeding a little bit, so... Hold on. Oh, oh. Oh, 
just a shard of rock I've just had to pull out of my arse, Chief. All right, I'm, I'm sorry, Major, but this is getting inside. It's turned my stomach, this. Keep it to yourself, will you, lad? Let's go, then. Let's go. Let's go and see if we can right. help anyone. Well, I used to work down in the sewers as well. So you Don't should be used that. to the smell of sewage, yeah, right? Oh, yeah. here we go again. Yeah, oh, God. Fuck, oh, fuck, blimey. Well, let's go, then. Well, ask something else, though. Hey. I reckon we walk in front. Mojo, you stay behind. Go from behind. Yeah, I'll, <laughs> go, stay, I'll go behind this time. <laughs> right. Well, anyone need any help? Yeah, Mark. <laughs> I think that was my arse is bleeding. Let's go. <laughs> the mic sort of cut out a little bit, but yeah, I think yeah, my arse is bleeding. My arse is bleeding. Let's go. Yeah, see. So as, as you start making your way uh, over the rubble and to the encampment, um, black smoke uh, and ash uh, fill the skies above. Uh, as you walk in over, you still see that some soldiers remain. Um, the floor, the floor area of the camp. Uh, almost rows and rows and rows of bodies covered with various blankets um, and materials um, of, of the dead. Oh, oh as, no. uh, as you see uh, a selection of others being nursed back to health, you see some with par parts of their... Uh, head cracked open, blood pouring down their faces, um, arrows protruding from areas of the bodies on some of the others, um, as these few that are standing are still making their way around the campsite, uh, trying to uh, make best of what injured there are. Cool, I don't know if I can keep looking, it's awful. Yeah, this guy's head's bleeding out like my arse cheek. Uh, this, Who stopped going on about your bloody arse? There's got to be some, something, someone around here. There's, there's got to be. They can't. Every, everyone can't be dead. There's got to be someone left alive, surely. No. Is there anyone of importance, like hierarchy? You can, you can roll me some perceptions. If you all want a first roll of the night? Yeah. Well, I no, you didn't. You didn't roll a blooming thing. I rolled for perception from far away. Oh, you did. Oh, my apologies. All right. I got a full yeah, yeah, yeah. My perception um, Another 13. 10. 20, dirty. A dirty 20. Ooh, mm. Dirty 20. So, uh, Bob, Bob, Bob recognises that the, um, the, the officer tent still stands. Three or four soldiers stand outside of it. There is, there is a very small immediate medical tent set up. And the, uh, the only other tent that currently still stands uh, is the armoury tent. Yeah. A couple of bleeding tents over there. Let's go and have a look at that. Go on. Standing around. Should I take Mojo to the medical bay so we can patch yeah, up his backside? Yeah, well, that's probably a good idea. If, if you really yeah. want to take him into the medical yeah, one, yeah. you can take him to the yeah. medical one. Thank you. I'll appreciate that. Let's have a look in the medical tent anyway. See if we can... Uh... <laughs> No, no, that's probably not too. It's probably not too, too much of a good idea, right. actually. I was gonna, oh yeah, I was gonna see if I could steal anything, but that's probably not very. Uh, Sell uh, anything? No, steal, steal. I was gonna steal. Need, yeah, I was gonna need a couple of things, but you know, I'm not even wounded, so it's probably a bad idea. That yeah, probably right, get okay. shot. Okay. Um, you're you're going to the medical tent first to go patch up Mojo's backside. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, yeah. As 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 you as you go in, as you go into the like you poke your head in the medical tent, um, you see that there's two nurses in there working uh, tirelessly, um, gauze and material to wrap up the wounds of the injured that are laying in there currently. 
um, three or four, three or four soldiers uh, lay on no more than rugs on the floor um, as they're being treated by these nurses. Um, one of the one of the nurses turns to you in a very butch voice because I, I can't be bothered to try and do a woman. Um, Come on, please. All right, fine. Oh, um, can can I help you? Uh, are you are you wounded? Yeah, this is my arse. Here, yeah, look, big what here is bleeding and it won't stop. You're, you're right. It is a large arse. Um, oh, shameless. No. Just turn around. Yes, turn turn around. Let me get, let me just have a quick look. I'll be back with you in a second, dear. Look, it had a shard of rock in it, and I pulled it out. Well, we can't have that getting dirty. We can't have that getting dirty. Hold on. Look, my finger uh, goes right in. Ah, I should have done that. <laughs> For God's sake. Uh, uh, yes, I, I'm yeah. sure. You're sure the rock isn't in your head? Um, my apologies. <laughs> That's not a good bedside <laughs> manner, is it? Um. Hold on a second, allow me. And she pulls out a, 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 bo a bottle of rum and she pours it onto some of this gauze and places it straight onto the, uh, <laughs> onto the wound. <laughs> and, and just put it there. That, that should stop some infection. Uh, that's easy. Any, anybody else got any, uh, any ailment? <laughs> no, it's just, <laughs> our just our colleague that you just sorted out. I said... I like to use stone cunning on the rock that you pulled out. Oh, he's already dropped that way. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I might need just a tip of that rum in this end now, because. Oh dear. Uh, unfortunately, I need I need all the alcohol I can get to sterilise the wounds. Um, is is there anything else? I mean, you know, hold on a second. Ah, uh, are you the new Grey Wardens? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, we uh, yes, we are the, the newly recruited Grey Wardens, man. Oh my mercy! You're you're the only survivors. Only um, survivors. We have survivors of the Grey Wardens. We have survivors. And as she puts her head out of the tent, Grey Wardens have survived. Grey Wardens have survived. All right, love, calm yourself down. Yeah, no, uh, about any other problems, I've never got a split in there. You guys over that? Uh, yes, but a, a large rock, right? if you don't mind. Just Who are you shouting to, love? Um, pardon? Who are you shouting to, love? Anybody. If it's knows, what listen. I mean. All right. Anybody, anybody that would listen. Right, right, all right. As, uh, as, one, as one of the soldiers now has approached the medical tent, uh, Oh, gentlemen, um, yeah, could you come with me, please? Um, like this accent, it came out of nowhere, that, right? Yeah, that one. Um, yeah, would you come with me, please? That the captain would love to speak to you. Oi, would be okay, Mojo, of you know, moving with your little injury. Well, first of all, a little, and second of all, yeah, um, he's feeling a lot better now. So yeah, as a, as let's, a, let's go. This is like becoming a side quest. <laughs> what Mojo's asked? Yeah. So <laughs> many side quest. <laughs> you, as, as I mean, you walk out of the medical tent. You follow this soldier. I say thank you to the nurse anyway. Yeah, thank well, you, for the nurse, for sorting my ass out and then giving me a bloody headache. I appreciate that. That's quite all right. It's not like I shouted in your ear. You are quite a, a long way up from me, you know, a good two foot. Anyway, thank you for out. your thank you for your help. Nurse. You're you're very welcome. You're thank very welcome. You very much. Now, please, I must continue. That's a lovely. Uh, I like that. Oh, yeah. We <laughs> yeah, heard that one. A good pop on that bottle. Um, I needed that when I took the lid off the rum. Um, oh. But as, as, you, as you follow this, uh, this soldier over to the officer's tent, um, and, uh, please go in. And uh, the, yeah, the captain would love to speak to you. As, uh, as you head, in, yes, uh, head into this tent, are uh, you all going to go in? One going to go in? Ten going to go in? I don't care. Completely up to you. I'll be the last one who's going because of I'm the spark oh. spellcaster. Yeah, that's fine. 
Oh, in. Yeah, I'd go in whenever, yeah. Right, just, just barreling. I just, to, I just want to know who I'm talking to, you see. Yeah, go on then. I'm, 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 Sitting up on on uh, rolls of bedding, um, wet towel draped across his forehead, still still in full armour, uh, bearing the emblem of King Caelan. Uh, this captain stand, this captain lays there uh, as he looks over to you and goes. Uh, once I figure out what what voice is coming out, how the hell do? Ma, ma. No, we're, 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 it's not, hey, hey, we're, we're, we're going to, howdy, 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 y'all. It, it's my, my pleasure uh, to, to make your acquaintances, my, my great wardens. It, it'd be a pleasure to, uh, to, to finally get to talk to you. Um, oh, uh, pleasures, pleasures all ours. Uh, where are you, where are you from, in? I, 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 somewhere else. All right, yeah. all right. Yeah, never heard of it. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, my, 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 I might have found pleasure chatting to you, uh, my lord. Um, the the battle the the battle saw many casualties. Uh, I, I believe you are the only remaining Grey Wardens. Uh, right. I don't I, I don't believe that Duncan nor the uh, the others made it. No, no. I think I, 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 is I can't be sure. I, I I saw my king fall, he, King Caelan. He he no more. He he didn't make it. We we we've got we've got no no leaders. No the ar the army is forsaken. It, it, it is, we we are done. We have lost this war. Mm. Well, uh, well, that's not good, is it? Well, that, that 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 would be an understatement, there, my uh, my my small friend. <laughs> that, that's not good, is it? No, no, it it, it yeah. is not good. No, it's not. No, no. Um, oh, shame. Uh, uh, per perhaps in your uh, your your notes from last week um, that the DM gave you, you you might remember what the next port of call was for the Green Wardens. Yeah. What's he talking about? Mm-hmm. Gonna see if anybody actually took any notes. Or, or, or. Um <laughs> hang on a minute, I'm I'm just thinking, I'm sure there's a solution to this. Hang on a minute. That's getting the paper out. I'm yeah. I'm having a little look. Yeah, hang on a minute. <sighs> Wrote something on my hand. <laughs> All in for a week if you forgot now. I don't mind helping. Oh, if you'll just say no, I can't remember. No, he said he didn't write it down. I do apologise. Well then, oh, uh, oh, hang on a minute. No, no, I, no. I say. Oh, I wrote a couple no, of things down, but well, I wrote down something about a dwarven encampment where they sent recruiters. Would they be great wardens as well? Well, the recruit, the recruiters, are they? Yeah, yeah, the the recruiters. The recruiters, the recruiters would currently be along with the rest of the army, uh, dead or injured. Right. What about um, the elves? Right. So, sorry. Uh, you think back to before the watchtower fell, and a conversation that was had between Duncan and Caelan while you were taking part in your training where Duncan and Caelan were talking about the first call after the battle ahead which was to go and visit the elves yeah mm. do uh, see go on. do you not have a place that you could you know fall back on first are you talking to the captain now yeah the captain oh, do you not have a place that you can fall back and you know 
regroup your numbers. I think he's still going to do you have a retreat? That's what we call it in a minute, Dre. It's a retreat. Adam, we call it a retreat. Yeah, we, 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 do have, we do have a uh, a base camp that we can be making our way to. Um, An emergency one, rendezvous. Yeah, just like one of those, my, my, my little friend. But uh, yeah, well, once we have the uh, sorted out the injured and the uh, dead, we will be loading them up and making our way to uh, to our hideaway where we can recoup, recover, and uh, hopefully mass the forces again. Um, you, do, would you guys, would you gentlemen happen to know what, what actually happened on that battlefield? Did you, did you see uh, Captain Logan and his forces? Did Logan survive? Did, uh, I'll did, tell you what, speaking of them, absolutely. Oh, no. <laughs> He'll be back, it's fine. There he is. Oh, I'm getting power surges again. I've got to apologise. It keeps happening. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're army, they're a bunch of cowards. I got to the top of the tower. I went to have a look to look like a beacon and they ran away. They they, they ran away? Yeah, they turned tail and they, they scarpered. They scarpered? The, yeah, yeah, whatever scarpering means. Re yeah, yeah. That's what he said. You, you, you mean to you, you mean to be saying that uh, Captain Logan uh, uh, turned tail and ran like a, a, a yellow belly friggin' lizard? That's right. Well, he didn't, I didn't think his belly Our was yellow. Just normal so. colour, really. But no, and he weren't he, a lizard either. He ran either. away like a coward. Oh, no, I didn't see any lizards either. No. But we have yeah, a special right. word for him where I come from. Uh, he is a Giska, and I will not say what that means because there may be children watching, but he is one of those for sure. Well, 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 I'm guessing, yeah, I'll, I'll get you. It is, uh, it, it is another word for, for cat, you know, but uh, yeah. you know, he's an endearing well, word like, and he's a like, cruel like, word as well. Like, so, like, you know. like, oh, yeah. well, like the pussy. Yes, what, what, what do we do now? <laughs> no. he, do he dropped the bird. He dropped the bomb. He said the word. Anyway, yes. Yeah. Well, this this is not a good man. So we, uh, you know what? He ran away, and uh, we will we will do what we can to help you people. You know. So if you if you look to regroup, then we will we will help you to do so. Matter of fact, he he uh, he, he he must be making his way back to to Denerim, uh, but with with King Kalen dead, that that leaves Logan's niece. Uh, air, air, well, the queen of, uh, of Denerim and ruler of all, ruler of all, uh, Ferelden. Uh, there, there, there can, there can be good. Um, I, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I, I know we, uh, we need to uh, carry on mustering our forces. With with the Grey Wardens and King Caelan's army down, we will be uh, mighty short on the uh, the forces front. Well, I don't like cowards, and I don't like seeing so many people dead along the field like that. And I'll tell you what: the more I'm thinking about it, the more I really want to fight. Makes me mad. Whatever, whatever, whatever's up, we need to get going. Well, we need somewhere. Fighting well, would be a mighty great uh, idea, my big friend. But the uh, to attack Logan, you would need a force m much larger than what we have here. Um, well, hang on a minute, you'll jump into conclusions. Yeah, Logan was fighting for us, wouldn't he? It, I know uh, he turned around, but he might have a good reason for that. If Logan, if if Logan is a traitor, Logan is a traitor in my heart. He is in my, a traitor in my head. He is a traitor at the end of my sword. Oh, I feel like you're making, well, I only you're know making one assumptions. Thing to do with traitors, and that's to crush them and grind them up. Are we just assuming? Are we going to assume this bloke's a traitor? You, 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 you can assume I, I have made my assumptions. I'm not saying he's a traitor, mm. but he looks like he is, and I want to know. So we better get out of it. We better try and get some answers. Where, the, uh, where? The, 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 be the best thing I can say for, for you gentlemen to be doing uh, right now 
will be to muster muster in the forces uh, of of our dearly departed King Caelan and Duncan, as they would uh, would have wished this upon us. That was our uh, first port of call to say. In doing so, do you know when elves? live from this area north south east uh, I, I, unfortunately i can't quite give you the the full directions um and a map is something that i won't quite come across uh, at the moment as you can see the encampment is a little bit uh, i'm going to use the word singed i understand but, but perhaps if you if you head north of the uh, the trading routes uh, you'll find your way to uh, some of the local villages and may, may perhaps point you in the right direction of the uh, the Dalish. Dalish, cool. Uh, I'm afraid that I, I can't be much more help to you, uh, my lords, but I do hope uh, you could possibly uh, carry on the will of the Grey Wardens and spread the word of the Archdemon and the Blight as we uh, continue to fight this good fight. Right, and off it is then. I, I, I say thank you, thank you very much, gentlemen. And it, it, it is an honor to be fighting alongside such uh, honorable gentlemen as yourselves. Okay. Thank you for all the information that you gave us, and please rest up. Uh, I, 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 I thank you, thank, thank you. As he uh, sort of lays his, lays his head back down and continues to just pull the uh, the wet towel over his eyes and uh, yeah so that was uh, that was uh, captain crawl oh, I didn't actually give you his name captain crawl if you fancy it I like the accent he might come back Captain Crawl or Crowl. Crowl. I can tell you how to spell it if you like, but K R let me guess. K R U double L. No. No. I mean Crawl. It's Crawl. K R A H L. <laughs> Through the H in there just to annoy you. Love the English language. Eh, I don't crawl. I've done retarded version. So <laughs> you've done you've done the uh uh, you've been in to see the captain. You've done the uh, the nurses. You see slowly but surely um, all of the the dead bodies now mounting up on the edge of the camp. Uh, the injured have all now congregated around the the, the medical tent. Uh, we'll call it. Uh, you see some patches of gauze running around their heads. Some arms tied up around there in in rudimentary slings. Uh, Etc. Uh, oh, one, oh, one, one more tent uh, that you see soldiers congregating around. Um, seems to be a lot of chatter of what soldiers have uh, are still standing. Anyway, I, I say we round up these soldiers and get going. Sweet. I think we should, uh, we should talk to them and see if they have any information, perhaps at least, and Correct. maybe yeah. see if they come with us, yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. I agree. They might know right. some helpful information. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. All right, you lot. <laughs> what are you all talking about? What's going on? What's the <laughs> general oh, consensus wow. here? It could be a Goliath. Hey, what? Yeah. Hello and uh, welcome, uh, Grey Wardens. Uh, the peace. Uh, what? Who? When? No, no, he's all right. He's... I, I, I would. I, I don't. I don't take the You're piece. a Goliath as well. Are you? That's very not very nice to meet you, Mister G. Nice to meet you, brother. Yes, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. I've um, not seen any of my kind for some time. He, he, well, there, there's plenty more of us up in the up in the dark hills, where you'll be finding oh, wow. the Goliath, 
the Goliath camps have moved up there. They've been up there for or oh, a good six six months now. Um, after after our uh, after our forests were destroyed, we we had to move oh. out. Thank you, Mojo. It's always always appreciated. Nice you're on. Yeah, um, but yeah, up in the dark hills, you'll be finding the Goliaths. But as as for now, uh, what what can I do, you gentlemen, for? Right. As you well know, we're the last of the Grey Wardens, correct? Uh, y I, yes. Were I, you I, even in that fight? What's happened? I, I was in that fight. I mean, look. What? You seem rather happy. Like, and you can see a splinter in his finger. Look, I've got that. Oh, yeah. Oh, you get yourself over to the medical tent. No, oh, yeah, I'll be all right in a minute. I'm getting my short sarpent ready to... Again, oh, like oh, all right, all right. But we're, all right. It, it, it's, um, yeah, I haven't seen any of those nice men walking around in their shiny, uh, in their shiny armor. It's, all right. Who's who's a who's a head boy here out of all of you? Is it you? That head boy. Who's a who's the one in charge? That'll be Captain Crow. He's in the tent over there. Well, right, apart from oh, him, we just met him. He's he's on his he's he's on his he's arse. Ready. He is. Yeah, he's right. resting. Right. Bolt's kind of funny, but he's resting at the moment. It, it, if you want to chat to somebody that might be in the know, I reckon you should chat to Bill. He's... Bill. Bill. Right. You have me on. Bill. Oh, Bill. As, as, as a... Hey, did somebody say my name? Hello, Bill. Bill. That be me, I be Bill. Hello. Pleasure to meet you. Smithing be my game. And, uh, and yeah, that's about my game. Hello. Oh, what race is Bill? What, what race is Bill? Is he? He's he? just human. Human. He's a noble trade nice there, Bill. Human. Thank you very much. I, I've been a bit, I, I learned it from my mum. Uh, she taught me and uh, I, I carry on and I've been serving King Kalen's army now for oh, what feels like a decade. Oh, very experienced man then. Right. I, try, I try to be, I try to be. I uh, hang on a second. I, I reckon I, I well, at least recognise the big fellas. Um, you're you're the Grey Wardens. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, ge gentlemen, I, I'm at your service. Um, anything I could do for the Grey Wardens in this dark time um, would would yeah. Right. Yours. <clears throat> we need to round up as many able bodied men and women and we need to get all our forces over to uh Ferelden. is that right? Kingdom's Ferelden, you're going to Denerim. Yeah, well that's you know, same thing. Right, Denerim. <laughs> right, we need your if help. It is England and if people people listen to you, all right. Listen to me. Uh, possibly, maybe, but, oh, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. We need you to rally everybody together and head up with us to Basildon. <laughs> what a love of Jesus. Basildon? I recognise your character. Oh, no. I, I, rem I remember another character that was very similar to Bob. Couldn't remember anything. I, I think it might be a good idea to go up into the mountains to try and grab, get some of the uh, other Goliaths to come and fight. They'll, they'll, some might even recognise me and my place in the military. Oh. They'll see me as a leader. We could recruit hey. some of them. That's a good idea. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a little something. Now I know that King Cal King Kalen and Duncan were talking about going around. Ferelden and finding all the different forces to build one massive allied army. Now I know they were talking about the dwarves of Orzammar. They were talking about the Daily, the Dalish Elves, the Goliaths in the Dark Mountains. And they did mention something about your kind as well, my scaly friend over there. But the Dragonborns are very hard to find, they keep moving you see. Mm. Oh, really? Right. But there's an un there's an untapped force that we haven't mentioned yet. 
And if you head to the Mage Isles, there'd be a magical force there that could help us. Mm. And perhaps even talk the Templars into joining our merry band as well. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them, yeah. Right. They won't come quietly, mind. But with you gentlemen, with your persuasiveness, possibly may, uh, may fall in line with the rest of them. But what am I saying? You, uh, you can't be going on your ways like that. Uh, uh, would you mind just giving me uh, one part of your the clothing slash armor slash something? Yep. Oh, all right, hang on a minute. <sighs> Get out my loincloth. <laughs> uh, I okay. If that's if that's what you want me to print on, I print on that. Print. Hey, what are you on about? Gentlemen? Hey, if you're what, giving uh, me your loincloth, if your loincloth is your loincloth. Oh, what uh, what do you need? What What do you need this for? What What is your plan? The one, thing, well, the one thing that could help you on your way. If I if I put on your clothing or your arm, whether your armors, your shields, even the hill of a sword, I can give you the sign of the Grey Warden. So you mm. can show this as you're uh, making your way round for Elden. Okay, well listen, I give you this and he takes off his armor, because uh, why not? He likes to do that. And he says, listen, this may not come on very often, but I will give you this, so when I do wear it, people will see and then recognize the symbol. Cool. So he, 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 he takes your chain, you chain mail, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so. Chain mail. So we go yes. with, 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 with your chain mail with a shoulder pad. Mm -hmm. um, on the shoulder pad, um, you see him, he heats up uh, the iron and he starts chipping into it. And uh, you yeah, on your sh on your we we'll go with your left shoulder, uh, the sign of the Grey Warden. Very good, One. thank you. Anything from anybody else? I don't have any items that you could imprint mm. the sign of them. Well, what 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 are you wearing? Do you brand him <laughs> without without saying that's that's what, that's what I was just about to say. I think uh, Mojo wants just to be branded. Common clothes. Common clothes, leather. Is it Mrs. Leather? Do not have any armor. No, no, but they wear robes and stuff like that, don't they? You don't walk around naked. Yeah, he's just dirty commoner, isn't he? Or a dagger or something. Or a staff. You got. You got. You got. Uh, you're a wizard. You got an amulet. Brand him. Anything like that? No, Mojo wants to be branded. Yeah, I'll be branded. Oh god. See? I've only got a hide. If I have to, I'll you know hand over the quarter staff. The quarter staff, yeah, I can brand the quarter staff if that's what you want. Yeah, that's the only one that I think that would be useful. Okay. Because it says, come, I took, let, um, yeah, let out all my equipment, and that's the only thing that is presentable. Yeah, I mean, it, it, completely up to you whether you know you want to get try something with something else, but no, we can we can do the quarter staff, that's not a problem. Um, so he, he, he heats up the it's basically going to be a cattle prod now and uses it to burn into the quarter staff. And he goes, Now, did I say you, you say you wanted to be branded? Yeah, uh, all right, tell me where you want it. Right, well, my hide goes across here, so right here on my chest, right on your heart. My heart's here. Well, it's over here, right, right, right on your left pectoral, then, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, do you want something to bite on? No. Okay then. <laughs> and he just the cattle prod straight on the chest, and you hear oh. the searing of the skin as, oh. as it burns in. Because oh, uh, does anyone smell bacon? <laughs> He's mad. He's mad. That one. He he really is. Now, um, put some water on that. It'll be fine. Do you want some rum? Yeah. Oh, they got some in the medical tent. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 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 um right now you want to be just your loincloth, right? No, no, hang on, I was, I was just having a laugh there. All right. Take my shield. 
Nice Ooh. big in the right in the middle of my shield. Okay, yeah, fine. Now, that, that'll take a little bit longer with a with a chip chip here and a, a ding ding there. And he, he, he works his way around and he passes you back the shield. Uh, the grey the grey warden emblem. Lovely. Now uh, fully regaling you. Fully regaling you? Is regaling a word? Um, I don't know. Or regalia. As uh yeah, as 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 he as he looks over now. Now you look like real grey wardens. Oh, oh. Well, all right, kind of. Fine job, that Bill. <coughs> no, thank you very much. Hey, plenty, of, plenty of practice. Um, question, Bill. I do you know um, which one? With that little information you told us of all the like all the races that we need to recruit. Yay. What is the nearest um, race that's from here? The nearest. Uh, the nearest from here, I I believe. Hang on, if I if I think back clearly, I I believe the elves will be the closest encampment. Uh, that'll be it. Uh, heading north up the trade routes, and that'll bring you to a small town. I do believe. I'm just trying to remember. I think it's called Lothering. And then from Lothering, you'll be able to get the directions for the rest of the way. Okay. Gentlemen, I'll make a suggestion, please. We see the bloody elves because I think I need elvish medicine. <laughs> <laughs> Bet you feel stupid now, don't you? <laughs> Oh, okay. bye. Listen, I think if, if the elves are the closest ones, then I think that is, um, how do you say, it's an easy win. So, you know, why don't we go north and see what we can find, yeah? That sounds like a, that sounds like a plan, Jago. Yeah, I'm up for that. Is there, a, Bill, just because you seem so wise beyond your years, is there anything else you think we should know? as we head north, anything that you think would be important to know? Because we do not know the area so well, you know. I, the, the only thing I can give you is a uh, fair warning that don't think you're going to be the only things walking these roads. Well, we know that, yeah. It's dangerous, isn't it? it, 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 it it's going to be a dangerous, I mean, Lothering's probably a good two days walk from here. Mm. Uh, up the trade routes, but yeah, I, I, I don't, I don't think the blight are going to be happy with just what's happened here. I think they are going to spread through Ferelden like a plague, and that, mm. and that blasted mm. arch demon. If that arch demon mm. figures out that the Grey Wardens are down to just you four, his forces will be mustered faster and faster. Want you whack, start whacking that brandy on every bloke going? Only one way to be a grey warden. Do you have any spare darkspawn blood? Mm. No, mm. not any. No. No, sorry, there. Uh, oh, guys, see the old star, please. Mo Mojo, Mojo, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. What? Come here, come here. And he picks up his glass of rum that he's got in front of him and splashes it into the cup. Or the, oh, the, the brain. Oh, there you go, Mojo. Nicely, nicely sterilized for you there. Well done. I mean, I could roll. No, I was very good for sterilizing stuff. Yeah. You'll be all right. I really don't feel so good. The last thing you want is it to be infected. Hmm. Have to cut your pecs off. Shut <laughs> <laughs> up, mouse man. <laughs> mouse man. Bloody little mouse. Well, not a mouse. I'm not a man, am I? Bleeding anyway, <laughs> should we make a start on trying to recruit the elves? Yeah. 
Oh, good idea. That, that sounds really upset. <laughs> yeah. Mojo, you stay up near the front if we're going to be walking along these paths. We need to be, uh, we need to keep an eye on you, son. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. Are you going to be in the mother of the group? Hey. It looks like Bob's going to be in the mother in the group. Hey, my mother. <laughs> Never seen a mother with such uh, you the know. The only time I'm going to refer to Bob as a mother is there's going to be a, a, a rhyming word beginning with F to follow it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, God. Not good at riddles. I prefer Glondomir. I remember that man. He was <laughs> great fun. <laughs> Never heard of him. No. No, he was a great, great bloke. Sounds like a wuss. <laughs> anyway, I'm... Uh... What is that? We're celebrating breasts, I heard. Whose breasts are we celebrating? He's no. watching porn. <laughs> Who? Breasts. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> That was typical, man. Get, oh. Typical. Typical, man. Yeah, who was that? Whose breasts are we celebrating? No? No one's oh, breasts. It was, it, was Ray. it was Ray. It was Ray watching porn. <laughs> <laughs> watching Bang porn. Device, not you me. You got your penis out. Oh, dude. Not me. <laughs> really. really? We've already had to envision flipping Bob's loincloth. I mean, come on. Oh. Right. Oh, oh, there it is again. What's that? Not my side, is it? I think Stefan. It doesn't matter. Kelly. Come on. Let's uh Stop messing around you lot. Let's get on with it. He really is gonna be the mum, isn't he? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you always have a mum in the group. It looks like Bob's the mum. Yeah, that's alright. So as you uh you're finishing up? You're done here? You're not going to try and do anything? Oh, uh, Bill, you, you mentioned it was a, a two-day journey by foot. I, right? I did. Yeah. Right. Uh, got any carts knocking about? Does it look like there's a cart knocking about? Well, it's a big place, isn't it? And if there was a cart, do you reckon there'd be an arse? Well, there might be. You've got bloody blooming armies and all sorts of shit. shit in the there, DM, you know? say that you could see some arses when you looked over the encampment. Who's the DM? What's that? What was the DM? What's that? No, unfor unfortunately, I, I, I think you'll find all the arses of an Ian. Right. And all the wagons are currently uh, charred wood. Oh. Well, never mind. So a two day walk is a two day walk. Christ. Right. Uh, all right, well, thanks very much, Bill. Uh, anybody else got anything for him? Is he any spare rations? Rations? Oh, I'm sure we got some. Two days. I'm, really, sure we, yeah? I'm sure we can accommodate the Great Wardens with some... Uh... Alcohol, please. Pardon? Alcohol, please. Alcohol? And you drink this time. No, don't you bloody give him anything. No, we need the alcohol. alcohol, alcohol we need the alcohol for sterilisation. No. <laughs> alcohol uh, keeps me focused and battle ready. ready. No. Bad Goliath. I was a high serving commander in my forces. That's how I prepare and keep myself focused, and you're denying me that. Yes. Yes. Good stuff. If you would like some food, I can sort you out some rations and I sort you out some water skins. To get yeah, some away. Well, we could That's do okay, water Bill. skins, definitely. Um, yes. And I, I, unfortunately, the rest of it, you'll have to uh, find your own way as you make your way to uh, Lothering. Yeah. Understandable. I'll, allow, allow me to load you up. Right. Well, he takes what, what pots and stuff that he has knocking around and he wraps up uh, some uh, 
bare rations, some root vegetables, etc., etc., uh, some potatoes, bits and pieces. Throws them all in a rag. Couple of uh, couple of water skins for you. And um, so it's like two days worth. Yeah, yeah, maybe a day's worth. Eight days. Cool. Uh, can't spare too much, unfortunately, because we got we still got a camp full of people to feed. Eight days worth of rations. No. One a. day. A. <laughs> yeah, that's what. That's what I thought. Oh, a. Yeah, but I didn't hear you. A day. It's not going to be yeah. that generous. <laughs> I know. I was thinking, <laughs> bloody hell, that's all right. <laughs> a, a day's worth of rations. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't hear you properly. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Oh, it must be. It must be the accent. Um. All right. Do apologize, old chap. Is that is that a uh, a single day for all of us, or is it a single day for one person? Yeah, all of you. Anything else uh, I can be helping you, uh, on, my lords? Well, oh. before you leave on this journey, Bob. Bob, you always got a question. What? What? You look like you're thinking, or is that just the wrinkles on your forehead? Well, I think it's a bit of both, really, uh, Bill. Um, <sighs> I just, I, you seem to be, uh, you seem to have had enough of us, so, uh, well, yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like well, yeah. No, 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 I can tell when, I can tell when we've we outstayed our welcome. Right, thanks very much, Bill, uh, you've been very helpful, and uh, I think, yeah, very, very helpful indeed, but thank you very much, and uh, I think we'll be on our way now. My, uh, my, my lords, uh, Godspeed, good luck. Thank you. And uh, if you die, walk it off. <laughs> I don't think I liked him. He's all right. Yeah. No. Anybody, anybody uh, need to do anything else before we leave? Quick piss. Shit. Well, I don't look like I'm getting myself any grog down my neck. So, might as well get this over with. Anybody else? No, I I'm, think we. I'm ready we move. to go when you are. Yes, we go. Let's go. Good, I'm ready. Let me just do my stretches. Hang on. Bob takes off. Bob's there. <laughs> Reach, <laughs> stretching. <laughs> down, touching his toes, twisting. Oh, he's saluting Up, the sun. Down, yeah. touch the ground. I mean, the moon. That's right. Oh, you know this song, do you? Food. Right, yeah, nice and limber, ready to go. Yeah, excellent. Tally ho! Tally ho! So as you uh, you start making your way uh, north out of the encampment, stepping uh, in between the rows of bodies, uh, over rubble, over uh, burnt remnants of tents, um, as you start making your way through the uh, now, now making your way through the the what's left of the burning ruins of Ostagar, you're now only truly seeing the devastation of the battle that took place. The floors covered in the blood of soldiers. Um, many, many, many uh, dead creatures, some with three eyes, four eyes, four arms, six legs, some furry, some with fangs, all various manners of uh, creatures uh, dead within Ostagar. As you start making your way through the ruins, you come out the other side into a forest uh, where you see our to the edge of a forest where you see a well-trodden uh, path, approximately eight feet wide, um, trees arching over either side. Um, as you start heading north along the trading routes. You, uh, you, you continue making your way without too many problems. Um, You've now been traveling for about six hours. The sun slowly starting to set, or what you can imagine, the sun is slowly starting to set. The sky is still fairly dark from the remnants of the smoke that has been following you even this far 
uh, away from the battlefields. Um, the time's probably about 10 o'clock now, as the sun has gone down and night has fallen. I don't know about everyone else, but I'm thinking maybe we should sit up for the night here. Is it anywhere safe to make camp? I you can perception if you want. I mean, if you all want a roll perception check. Yeah. Uh, really uh, Sixteen. Seven. Nineteen. Ooh. Dirty 20. Yeah, swap that dice out, Dan. It's unfair. Uh, <laughs> hmm. As you... Uh, I mean, you can see on, on, on the sides of the road, um, you, you can see that there are areas that have been uh, carved out within the, the, the brush um, where camps have been set up previously. Um, you can still see remnants of uh, bonfires that have been left over. Um, and worn areas where uh, travellers may have slept. So one of these would be safe enough for you. You'll be uh, as a as a as a night shift. You'll be taking it in turns. That's right. Keep watch eyes. Anyway, this bloody thing killing me here. Yeah? So. I love the fact that he's a cleric and he, he, he hasn't offered a damn thing to make Mojo's boob feel better. Exactly. Well, he's embarrassed, isn't he? <laughs> I'm not that, uh, not that kind of cleric, you know. <laughs> oh, well. I know. No, he wants me to be weakened so he can try and seem to be stronger than me. I can now drink you next time. Oh, he's stronger. He's he's out drinking. I, I think I'm going to enjoy you too. Right. Uh, yeah. So you, you're setting up camp, just in this little area. You're literally going to make a fire and roll out your bed rolls, right? And sleep on the ground. Yep. You're looking up at the stars. I might yep. have to sleep on the floor though. So you might have to sleep on the floor. So yeah, I might not have a bed roll on me. Let me just check. Oh dear. Was Bob that bad? Now, Dan's got this habit of not giving himself an adventure. <laughs> <laughs> no, nope, looks like I'm on the floor. <laughs> he his tits off. So he, 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 put, he, put, he, puts his, he puts his bag as a pillow. Oh, Stefan's gone. And he's back again. Um, he puts his bag as a pillow and just sort of stumbles up against it and just lays back, staring up at the sky. Um, Hang on a minute. It says I've got a bag of adventuring gear, but it doesn't say I've got a bedroll. Well, a, a, a bedroll comes under an explorer's pack, I think. There's different ones that you can give yourself. Mm. Wrap yourself up in your loincloth. Yeah. Oh God! <laughs> but uh, yeah, so as you as you guys start to bunker down for the night, um, who's first on the uh, on watch? I volunteer uh, first. Oh, go on then. We trust this. Trust the lizard, do we? Trust the lizard. I think after what happened in the tower, yes, I think we have to. Oh yeah, yeah. Forgot about that. Yeah. <laughs> No, he's all right, yeah. I just want to get saved your life. I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah forgot you saved your life. Yeah. Good lad, he's a good lad, that one. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Ada, looks like you're going first, as the rest of them are catching the kit. That's fine. Um, so, yeah, go on, roll us a perception then. See if you notice anything. Oh, 16, that is 16 plus 3, so 19. Well, I'm, you sit there, you listen, you, you, you can listen to the, uh, just the sounds of the animals in the forest. The hoots of the owls, the howls of the wolves. Even the wind just whistling through the trees. But your two hours of uh, 
pass by without anything. In doing so, I'll just check out the amulet that I've got in my past in the past time while keeping vigilant. Okay. Your amulet. Remember the thing that I told you that my backstory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, who's next? I suppose it's Adder's choice, isn't it? Well, with you, you're waking up to take a second. Oh, I'll go next. I can't get bloody sleep anyway. It seems, it seems like the big guy's going to go. It looks like my going to go. Come I on. can't settle because this bloody thing's stinging so much. You know, you asked for that, right? I did ask for that. I wear it with honour and pride. It's just gone a hill. Here, no, he's done trying to sleep. Stop taking the piss. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to go quickly hide and sleep. God, I, I am not roll wanting us, roll to. Off. Roll us a perception then, Mojo. Again. Uh, again, the howling of the wolves, the hooting of the owls, just the, wrist, the whistling of the wind through the leaves. Um, you feel the temperature slowly start to drop now, as it is uh, the area between midnight and 2am. Um, you see Bob over on the... Uh, over on the floor, no cover, just starting to shiver a little bit. His loin cloth not covering as much as he was hoping. <laughs> I'm going to uh, What's in my mess kit? Food. It's like a mess tin and a fork. Okay. What water skin? That's what you get your water. It's like a water bottle. It's like a water bottle. Uh, right. Uh, I've got my. Well, I've got my bed roll. Is is Bob actually got a bed roll? No. I'm going to lend him my bed roll. Oh. I lend him my bed roll. Uh, until it is time to. Oh, it's very kind of you. Oh, very kind of you. There you go, little magic. Get yourself settled for a while. Oh, thank you very much. You shoot this. Please. Oh, that, that's like, that's yeah. nice. Thank you very much. Oh, very kind of you, that's Mojo. Nice. Don't expect it back, though. Second session. <laughs> second session. No, it's the second session. I'm going to give one out. I'm going to give one out. Stefan, yeah. have an inspiration. <laughs> so what that'll do, the inspiration, that'll give you one re-roll on any D20. So if you roll a D20 and it's shite, and you think, no, I'm going to roll it again, you can use your inspiration to re-roll it. Thank you very much. <laughs> That's nice. Proper I like already. it. Rewarding kindness, I like it. Now, as Bob gets his bed roll, Bob starts to uh, snuggle down now. Bob drifts into a deep sleep. Bob starts to see things. Oh, no. Similar to uh, Adder's dream the day before. Bob now starts to feel overwhelmed uh, with, uh, with power. He starts to burn. He starts to feel his skin almost on fire. As he starts to see visions of flames, dragon flames, dark, vicious eyes start to stare straight through him, almost seeing into his soul. Ooh. Bob wakes up with a start, sweating, <gasps> absolutely sodden with his own sweat. <gasps> Oh, uh, 
Do we hear? Oh, Bob, Bob just screams. Oh, Hi, Bob. I don't know. I've been. I don't know what happened. I've seen all the fire and dragons. It was awful. I don't know what's wrong with me. What's that? Must be oh. this bedroll. Get this thing away from me. <laughs> you made it all wet. Bloody, oh, I'm sorry. I oh, know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, these are horrible visions. Horrible visions. And that uh, piques my interest. I feel strange. Oh, strange. You're asleep. Strange. I'm asleep. You're asleep. You had, cool. so you had, didn't had, had to have three bad dreams. On the last I never told time. anyone. No, he didn't tell you. Anyone. Told him, I, never shit. Oh, I only time. used that as a description for Bob's dream. Oh, uh, Mind if I uh, stay up? I don't feel like I can go back to sleep now, Mojo. I'll stay up with you, in fact. I'll take over your stack. Well, I was going to say you were awake, so you may as well take the next shift. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob. Well, yeah. Like I'll it. have yours as well. Okay, and, uh, I like... Can I do an investigation of myself? Oh, uh, you could certainly try. Oh God! I mean, what are you trying to investigate? <laughs> uh, just to oh, see if there's any any like visual change on my body or or anything that's different. Um, other than other than the fact that when you woke up, you you were soaking soaking wet, and your your skin you were hot to touch. Mm. Um, but other than that, no other physical changes. Well, I have a cold brown. Right. Can I, can I roll an investigation check to make sure he ain't urinated in my bloody bedroom? <laughs> I am old, yeah. Yeah, if you want, if you want to. And, it, and, it, and it's just, I'm just <laughs> I mean, it's, sure compl it's completely, completely up to me. Sweat. If I if I decide that yes, he's peed himself, that that's completely up to me. Yeah. Yeah, go that's on. Brilliant. Something oh, might have slipped out. Rolling for urine. Yeah, I can't believe I'm rolling for to see where he's peed in the bedroom. 18 plus to 20. Did you pee in my sleeping bag? No, it's just sweat, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you don't go brown. Although, you, although, although you, you're, you're checking out this bedroll, um, I, I, mean, I missed a gag as well earlier, damn it. Um, although you check out this bedroll, um, there's no like singular patch where you would think uh, urination would be um, it's just damp from sweat but I'm now just thinking back to a Goliath's bedroll with a dwarf laying in it yeah so I said it's huge that's, that's, that's what I mean he could have gone right to the very bottom yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, sure I, it would have been like a cave for him I missed the gag there oh well but uh, yeah no 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 no, no urination <laughs> So you, you you lay down in in your wet in your wet bedroll and sleep. As uh, as Bob, surprised actually. As Bob is now sitting wide awake, he looks at he, he incites himself uh, just to check that he's all still there. Do you, yeah, no, two inches, I'm still good. Um, <laughs> as he checks over himself, he, he, nothing physically changed. You were hot to touch on the skin. Uh, other than that, nothing. Sort of sitting there. Not really paying attention to uh, my duty. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at my hands and just thinking I'm in a, in, in a daydream of uh, trying to remember the entire dream that I had. And uh, yeah, I mean, your your time passes. I won't force you to do anything else. Your time passes. Um, and yeah, I mean... Are you going to wake up, Drago, or are you going to stay? stay oh, I'm going to stay put. Okay. Yeah, I will stay put to them. <laughs> <laughs> that is actually quite a cute bit. <laughs> so, yeah, so, all right. Bob, Bob, Bob only does four hours sleep. Um, but it's, it, it's fine. We'll, we'll get into that the following day. Drago gets a good hour. Everybody else is now well rested. As uh, as the sun starts to rise on the uh, <sighs> on the fog, I don't know about you, but I slept very well. <laughs> not me, mate. No, not how come? 
Was that a, a short rest? That was a long rest. Oh. All right, but mine's a short rest, yeah? Mm, yeah, you had you had four hours, so we're sort of we're 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 knock it up as you can. Whatever you roll on your HP game, you can have half of it. All right. Uh, you yeah, didn't have a full rest. Like you've yeah. not used anything else anyway, so. All right, I'll just yeah, don't worry, I'll do that. So regain regain half your HP for the night. Everybody else uh, hasn't been hurt or anything, so we're all right. Mm-hmm. All right. So as you wake the following day, and you start heading along the, uh, the back along the route, um, Mojo sort of like waving his bed raw around, trying to dry it out in the morning air. Sorry about that. It's not from Bob Sweat. It's from Mojo peeing in it. <laughs> um, I don't pee in the bed, so <laughs> shut up, the voice in the sky. <laughs> Um, as you and as you start making your way north, uh, up up the road, you come to a bend, and you notice in front of you uh, a hillside, beautiful, uh, beautiful picturesque uh, hillside, trees growing up, growing on it, a small cave uh, halfway up. As the bend starts to, uh, as the road starts to bend around the corner. Um, you notice uh, a lowly mule and a wagon uh, by the roadside and one dwarven man stands next to the wagon. Uh, Morning, brother. Who are you? What's your name? Oh, talking to me. Uh, Yeah, uh, my, my name is Darlin. That is my name. With H, so good morning, lovely to meet you. Pleasure. My name is Mojo. Uh, this here is Ada. Uh, that little thing there is Bob. Pleasure. And uh, that man, yes, I know he's handsome, you don't have to say he's Drago Stormcaller. And uh, we are Grey Wardens. (laughs) Thanks, Grey Wardens. Don't, Don't see many Grey Wardens walking around these parts of the woods. Uh, very nice to see the Grey Wardens present. And uh, how are we on this fine sunny morning? Very nice, oh, thank you. Yeah, very good, thing. Well, maybe we don't. Well, if I, 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 is, is there anything else that I could possibly do for you? Is well, have you seen anything? Uh, uh, we're, we're on our way to the elves, but have you seen anything of interest? Uh, uh, what news... Uh, uh, have you heard any, anything at all? Information you can help us with? Well, c- c- consider, consider news. I, 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 I'm, I'm a tradesman, you know. Uh, check out my wares on my wagon. Uh, pl- plenty of stuff to be bought and bartered for. I, 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 uh, mm. I like uh, to do to, uh, to do to do, do uh, what I can when I can. Let us see your wares, then. You can uh, certainly have a, l- a l- look there, big lad. Um, Please make 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 your way to the uh, the back 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 of the wagon. Right, okay. back of the wagon. Then. And uh, as as you, as you're looking over the wagon, um, you're looking in it, and there is almost now. Do you know what? Roman perception for an investigation. Your choice. Investigation. Um, Fourteen. Looking out, looking over the back of the wagon, there, there, there are barrels, but they look so old that if, if they did contain anything, you wouldn't really want to buy it. Um, the rags that were on the back uh, are, are almost rotten, like very poor person clothed, poor person clothes. Um, there's a crate of uh, like rotting or going going off of fruit and veg. Um, Absolutely nothing in there that you would possibly be interested interested in, God. Darling, can I just say why why are you carrying such wares that are long past it? Is what why 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 don't you have anything new or fresh or anything like that? Well, 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 well you, you, you see, what what, what 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 we do is we uh, we, 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 we 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 wait here and and. and, and when soppy bastards like you come along, we uh, attack! 
Oh, bollocks. Toppy Barsies, you said that to a Goliath barbarian with a fucking huge great axe on his back. This yeah, guy's stupid than I thought. But while, uh, while he's got this is a, a stutter. Yeah, he's got a bit of a stutter. You like that? Yeah. Um, as you uh, as you you're standing looking uh, looking over his wares, um, you're going to be the first to get hit at. from the top of the hillside. There is going to be uh, a bolt shot at you. Only for a fourteen. So I'm assuming that doesn't hit. Mojo, you've been shot with an arrow for 14. Did it hit? Your mic's right. cutting in and out. Did it hit? What was it? 14. 14. Uh, yeah, because I'm minus 13. Oh. Yay. So the, the, fir the first crossbow shot uh, get you for four points of damage. Which is nice. And before we get going with the map, I'm going to pause it for a little break. Uh, uh, back recording. I'll just load the little screen up. And here you go with your map. Oh. Oh, that is nice. There you go. Mm. There's, your, there's your quite nice. There's your little map. Right, so some little bastard shot me with an arrow. Yes, so the arrow came to the, the hillside. So right. what you can see, I'll, I'll give, I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you the layout, right? In case you can't tell, right? So we're gonna go, Mojo, Drago, Bob, Ada. Guy cool. Shot you with an arrow. Somebody hiding on the annoying dwarf with the star. I I I I don't know what you mean. <laughs> take take the pee out of a guy with a star. So yeah, uh, let's all roll for initiative, shall we? Okie dokie, smoky. Okie dokie, smoky. But I don't smoke. Are we rolling for you? Or what? <laughs> <laughs> You're really not with me tonight, are you, Steph? I'm just, oh, I'm just struggling with gut and everything's been a somersault. No, I'm just, what did you say we got wrong? Initiative, mate. Initiative. Com it's combat time, innit? Yeah, and kill a midget. Right, so, uh, we'll go with uh, 20 and above. 21. Whoa! Strong. 15 to 20. 19. Very nice. 18. Great. Oh, I didn't even say that. 10 to 15. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, uh, I don't need to go any further. Uh, Drago, you're last. But just so I know, what did you roll? Got 10, minus 7. <laughs> oh, what? What? <laughs> what is this build? What the fuck? <laughs> Jeez. What yeah. the hell? Wow. Minus 7. What no, no, no. Hang on. Let me repeat that. I, I, got, I got 10, minus 7. Yeah, yeah. How do you get a minus seven? seven. No, I did. I did not get a minus seven. I got ten. <laughs> take away seven. What number is ten? Three. Take away seven. Right. So yeah, yeah. For you guys. Yeah, but, but, you, know, you know when we get like minus one to our actual scores. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got a minus I know. Seven but it's like you know, I got ten, but take yeah, away we seven. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we we, that, we yeah. thought. We thought. We thought it was like. Uh, you build a character with a minus. Yeah, 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 that's what we thought. No, no. <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, you actually get to a plus seven, a minus seven at level two. Minus seven. You know what, I just won't bother trying to be clever ever again. It's fine. No, don't do it's that. Fine. Don't do that. Screw so, us off. Stick to my strengths. Screw us off. So yeah, stick to my strengths. The the combat is underway. Um and uh, Adam, you're first. Um, okay. 
I'm going to go try and... After seeing... Do I see the guy who just shot me out, Well, yeah, he's not, no, he's not overly hiding. He just he sort of jumps out behind the bush and goes, Ha-ha! All right. And in a same mocking way, I will cast um, Magic Missile. Okay. So that is going to be three hits on four... 1d4 plus 1. Yep. So that is... That is 10 damage. What, on the... On the... All, in, all in total. Yeah. All three do 10 damage. Aha! So these hmm. three whirling balls of... Uh... Magic had just propelled up the hillside. And, uh, he, yeah, he's not laughing so much now. Cool, Dale, what are you doing? Yeah, that's, all, that's, my, that's my turn. Cool. Bob? Right, I'm going to move in and I'm going to take out this dwarf. How dare he? Yeah, it's a hand-to-hand combat with the other dwarf. Yep. Cool. That's the one. Yeah, you can pass through. There you go. Um, yeah, smacking with the with the old war pick then for uh, twenty one and a uh, eleven piercing damage. Eleven piercing damage, very nice. I'm going to stand firm. Cool, yeah. Run up to him, just one big smack with a pick. Cool. Have that you get. Very nice. Uh, Mojo. Right. Um, who's still standing in the process to me? Uh, well, you've got you've got the you got the dwarf. Yeah. Uh, hillside and other guy over there. Well, I'm going to take me javelin him. And I'll go for that little prick that shot me with his arrow. Okay. Uh, that's that's the buff. So I am going to really javelin the bastard. And I get eleven plus six seventeen on hit. the to hit. hit. Yeah, yeah that's the hit. Yeah. That's and hit. The damage is. Nine. Cool. Four, yeah, uh, five plus four. Cool. So yeah, so as you uh, as you send this javelin flying up the hillside, um, it strikes this bandit in the chest, and you see him drop weak at the knees as he falls, and is no more. Good. Shoot me with an arrow, you little shit. These uh, these hard hitting level twos. Uh, anything else for Mojo at the minute? Uh, you can say no. No, I'm good. Oh, I'm cool. Good. That will that will bring us to the uh, the bandits' turn. Details. Uh, and the dwarf is going to strike the other dwarf. Because, you know, he's standing right in front of him. And that will be uh, an 18 to hit. Uh, yeah, hits. Cool. And they rolled a secondary attack, which is 11, which is rubbish. So uh, he'll do six damage on Ooh. your pub. Oh! As he stabs you with his short sword. Oh, you bastard. And the other bandit is going to use... All of his movement, which I don't think is going to get him anywhere. He's going to come out onto the roadside there. And he's going to pull out his crossbow. And he's going to fire at this big hulking uh, human standing in front of him uh, with a natural 20. Oh, Oh, bloody hell. 
Which uh, which hulking oh hulking Hulk human. human. Yes. Well, this um, is what I think of that. Um, <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, and yeah, and he sounds a storm. And for a natural twenty, that is eight damage. Is that why they call you Stormcaller? <laughs> wow. <laughs> he sounds a tempest. It's more like thunder. Um, yeah, it's true. He used thunder clap. So how much damage, sorry? Eight. Eight, okay. And uh, that is the end of their turn. So that will bring us to Drago. Um, just double checking. So that damage, what kind of damage was it? Oh, uh, it, it would have been piercing from a crossbow bolt. Okay, because I've got a feat, which is heavy armor master. So any damage you take from uh, piercing, slashing, or bludgeoning is reduced by three. Um, just realized that. So. Cool, drop it to five. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Cool. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up to the guy that shot a f crossbow bolt at me and try and hit him with my hammer. Um, so, so, uh, there you go, you see the hammer then. Uh, only got an 11. Uh, that isn't a hit, unfortunately. I'm just going to see if I've got any bonus actions. Um, no, I'm going to I'm going to leave it at that for now. I reckon we can take these guys out by the end of next turn. <laughs> uh, level two fight! Yay! Hmm. All that starting again stuff. Um, Okay, cool. That that'll be the 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 end of the round. Uh, bring us back to Adam. Uh, can I get? Is he the guy engaged with Drago? Is he thirty feet away? Is he thirty feet away? Yeah, is he? For me, uh, I mean, if you move a little bit, you'll get within range, but you can't really see him with Mojo standing in the way. Not Mojo, Drago. Oh, the one with Drago. No, he, he's further than 30 feet. Sorry. Two big hulking brutes. Um, but yeah, he's further than 30 feet away, but so you'd have to move. Yeah, that's fine. Right, you're kind of, you're I'll move towards... Where you want to go? And I'll go try... Yeah. Cast Infestation. Can you make a constitution saving roll, please? I can certainly give it a good go. Nine. Okay. So let's go see what it does. You cause a cloud of mites, fleas, and other parasites to, to that one creature. You take 1d6 of poison damage, and I roll a d4, to, and you move um, ah. five feet in whatever direction. So first off, the damage is five poison damage. I rolled a three. So you roll, you move one step east. East? East. If you can't move, you right. don't move. Right, okay. There you go. Well, right then... you just see a sea of Black dots gone into his armor and started biting him. Well, you, well you, you see a big mound of shit that I've just managed to find. Oh, cool. Fine. Sorry. <laughs> Random models. Woo. Nice. Love it. Okay. Yeah, it's my turn. Sweet. Uh... Oh. I'm going to kick this bloke into that cave. Okay. Yeah, Sparta kick. Yes. 
What do you want me to do? Well, we're going to the final. What do you want me to do? Doing what we need to do. Oh, I'm gonna kick him, you know. He wants to know if you do if you want him to do a check to kick him in the cave. The, the oh, shove, the shove I, 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 thought, I thought you were telling me that it was a foot a, a feat of some kind. All right. The shove. You, you just want to push him. Yeah, all right. We'll just do a, a, a contested strength. Oh wait, use hang on a minute. Using an attack action, you can make a special melee attack to shove a creature, either to knock it prone or to push it away from you. Uh, all right, uh, right. Instead of making an attack roll, you make a strength, yeah, strength check contested by the target strength or dexterity. Mm-hmm. So you can choose dexterity if you want. Uh, I'd definitely be strength or dwarf. Yeah. So is that what we're doing? Contested strength. <laughs> Dirty 20. Four. <laughs> <laughs> he skipped arm day. I need to swap these dice out. So, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, yeah. go ahead. Bang her off. So as, as, I mean, as, as you kick him and push him backwards, um, and he falls into the, the, the darkness of the, the cave, and just because I can all the... Uh, there you go. I'll lay him down in it. Uh, yeah, you kick, you kick him into this this crevice right, in the okay. side of the hill. Um, I suppose as, as you've kicked him, what's your what's your unarmed strike damage? Um, it is five. Yeah, really? Cool. So we'll take five bludgeoning damage. Um, as you kick him and uh, yeah I'd like to move away now okay anywhere in particular only just just you know like uh, about just five feet back really just to gain a bit of distance oh in fact sorry into uh, engage the other target so moving into position to engage the other target pardon me yeah there we go that's it. Finished. Okay. Sure. What was the... There, 25 feet. You're fine. Okay. Fine. Mojo. Who's boss? He's your right. He's still up. Right, so how many enemies have we still got up? Well, the, uh, the, the dwarf is now currently laying prone in the cave. Right. Um... And the other bandit is currently being swarmed by bugs, uh, hit by a big hammer, and he's got a dwarf gnawing at his ankles. <laughs> um, so the one laying prone, is he still alive? Yes. Um, right, I'll walk up to him then. And, and you're going to smack him while he lays on the floor. So you can only really sort of see him from the waist down, so you're basically going to attempt to chop him in half. Um, yeah, pretty much. Because he's prone, you'll get advantage on the attacks. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm going to take my great axe, uh, uh, cut him in half, roll uh, 8 plus 6 is 14, and a damage of... Well, you can, you can roll with advantage in case you get a nat 20. So you roll Should that be enough to do him, though? Well, you, 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 you could get a nat 20. All right. Always roll, always roll with advantage in case you get a 20. Well, well, it gave me two. This time it gave me 16 instead of 14, so we'll go with that. Right. So you still hit him, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, and damage. Oh, it's got even better. 10 plus points of 14 on that one. 14. Wow. That's strong. Cool. So, hit hard uh, as, as this dwarf is sort of laying in the cave going, oh, oh, oh stupid bloody, oh. And this huge axe just comes down straight through the middle of him. Oh. You, see the, you see the legs pop off and oh. the feet kick a little bit, 
before they lay lifeless. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> All right, gonna... fella. I just thought it was the most humane thing to do. But you're at your misery, yeah. misery you little bastard. Um, yeah, that's 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 it for me. Uh, uh, I'll leave the others to deal with uh, the other Paul Paul cool. sod. Brings us back to the bandit. Now, with this stupid swarm attacking me, am I at a disadvantage? I can't remember. Let's read. Say that again. That no, nothing. All right, that's fine. I'll carry on. Uh, attacking the big hulking thing because. Um. I've got a sorry. Of course got, you have. I've got <laughs> I've got a feat. Uh so no my fighting not a feat, my fighting style is protection, so I impose disadvantage on any attack. Which um Cool, well the my lowest roll was by sixteen, so sixteen. All right. I'm the, I'm the hulking human. Sixteen is my armor class. Yay! Ooh, couldn't do anything for you there, mate. And as I hit you with my mace, I do seven points of bludgeoning damage. Okay. Um, so that'll be reduced to four because of the heavy armour. Yep. Um, and I get to do a cool Storm Cleric thing now. So I'm going to use... Uh, Wrath of the Storm, um, which is a reaction to any attack to anyone that's hit me within five feet of me. Mm -hmm. So I need you to make a dex saving throw. Ooh, that's quite good. Fifteen. Oh, God damn it. It, it, it succeeds, <laughs> but uh, you take 2d8 thunder damage halved. So that's going to be... Uh, oh, fucking hell. Five. So round it down to half. Right, so three. Okay, three points of thunder damage. Mm. Uh, successfully hit you with my mace. Cool. Uh, oh, that will bring us to Drago's turn. I'm going to try and hit him with my hammer again. With both hands on the Warhammer, I'm going to try and hit him for a, that's much better, a 17. That's a hit. So, 1d10, uh, 1d10 plus 4 is uh, 6 damage. 6. Mm -hmm. Wow, he's getting hit, but he's still standing. Uh, this huge hammer crashes into uh, crashes into his chest, still rocked and reeling and fighting off these weird bugs that are chomping at him and this dwarf that's chewing on his ankle. Um, but no, still standing. I think he'd summoned cousin it. You haven't finished your boss yet, Jesus Christ. End of the turn, and Ada, it's you. Yeah. I just stop torment, letting him torment him and just finish the poor kid off. If I may, I will go up Otherwise to We're him. never going to make it to the elves. After hearing that, fine, fine, I'll put him out of his misery. I'll go walk up to the guy. I'm going to walk up to him, okay. Yeah. And you, you, tread, you tread on all your bugs. Yeah. Um, I'm just about on the table. Can you make a constitution constitution saving throw, please? Of course I can. <laughs> All right, I will cast acid spray. Yeah, okay, of course you will. Uh, for seven poison damage. Cool. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, poison spray uh, consumes him. He starts screaming in agony. Bugs biting him. Dwarves chewing on his ankle. He's just been smashed in the chest. Um, he's still standing though. Oh. Why won't you die? Because oh, he's 
it's not getting it for a lot. Each yeah. turn, it's like a little bit. It's quite embarrassing, this. Um, Bob, it's your turn. Right. Have that. War pick to the face. <laughs> Nine to hit. That's a myth. Action surge. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Oh my god. What? Oh, no, oh, what? Oh, my, oh my god. Being, no. Being as as Eight to hit. <laughs> Eight to hit. Oh, fucking waste of action surge. Yeah, sorry. Um, that's me. Done. That's, that's, that's a miss. Oh man, um, Mojo. All right, sorry about that. Well, right, I'm walking up with him. Yeah, I mean, you got forty feet of movement, so you're just gonna. Yeah, walk I'm around. going up with him. Find right, the space. Look yeah. at this! Look at this! It's surrounded. Surrounded. This bloke's just firming right, it. Great axe. We have got a because it, because he's surrounded with pack mentality. You get advantage on the attack. Okay. This is so uh, embarrassing. Right. We've got an 18 tactics, on yeah. that, and damage is a 12 point boy to 16. 16 points of damage? Yeah. 12.4 is 16. What's you roll it? You roll a 12 on your D12. Bang. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, Mojo. Describe the kill. Right. Move away, you lot. This is pitiful. Right. This should have been done from the very start. Uh, I lift up the the uh, the uh, great axe right down the middle, spliced with them bugs just dripping off uh, either side of what's left of uh, the. Uh, the, the oh. poor little sod. Um, no. Yeah, literally straight in half, entrails everywhere as the uh, the remainder of the living bugs feast off what's uh, of, on the entrails of what's left as uh, Mojo then turns around and says, right, this is bloody Elton. Let's get a move on. Well, he's proved his worth there, hasn't he? It is a bit embarrassing that we couldn't do it. Good effort, I'm man. surprised Drago didn't. Well done. Well, what can I say? I, 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 my shame. I must. I must take my armor off in my shame and reflect on my pecs. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, while Drago take, he takes his armor off, he throws it on the floor and sits down and starts to meditate or think or just punch the ground in anger. Um, would you all like to roll me a, a perception? Please. Three. Twelve. Um, that'll be a twelve. I got twenty. Yay! So Drake, well, Drago sitting on the floor. As he as he parks his bum on the floor and he fucking starts pounding the floor in anger that Mojo got the kills. Um, looking ahead, you can see not only the feet of this chopped in half dwarf now in this small cave, but you also notice two other uh, figures that lay in there. He keeps muting his mic. Um, as, as, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say, now that you're curious, um, are you going to head over and have a look? Or he's going to Yeah. I'm going to, would it would have time to stick the armor back on like slowly get up and slowly kind of throw the chain mail back over yeah yeah, yeah that's fine yeah we noticed this um 
you know, I'll, I'll, I'll get up and I'll, I'll say to the others, like, there's, there's something else in there. Like, you what? There's, there's something else in there. What are you on about? See, but then there's like, you know, I can see something. Let's right. let me let me go and look. Okay. Let me go and look. All right, all right. We better be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Let's so it's as good. as uh, Mo- get ready. as you get over there, uh, Mojo grabs hold of the legs of the uh, the chopped in half dwarf and just sort of pulls them, throws them off into the distance, uh, pulling out the entrails of the rest of the dwarf that he chopped in half. Can't look. <laughs> Uh, as as you reach under, or uh, you start to look under, you see uh, two uh, dead bodies. Um, oh dear! One one of an elderly man, uh, grey hair, uh, grey beard, <laughs> very 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 old, very old in the face, um, not wearing expensive clothes, rags, even uh, just clo- clothes of a farmer. Um, possibly uh, not rich by any means. Uh, the other body uh, next to him, a younger man, uh, small pencil moustache, um, long, longish uh, brown hair, um, slightly better dressed. Uh, the clothes not necessarily as old as the older man. Um, uh, as as you uh, yeah. Pull them out of the cave. This this is what you see. Um, with your with your twenty Drago, uh, we'll still carry on using that. Um, as the as the young man gets pulled out, you notice uh, some paper, parchment, or something protruding from his top pocket on his waistcoat. As you uh, as you pull the uh, the paper, the envelope sealed with wax uh, reads to my dearest Abigail. Um, you gonna open it or what? Uh, yes, I think, uh, you know, respect for the dead and all this, you know, whatever, but yes, let's open this note up. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. No, no one has to know. Sure. As you open up, as you open up this letter, uh, to my dearest Abigail, I love you with all of my heart. I hope you see fit to accept this marriage proposal. We will mar- we will wed on a bright summer's day after the harvest with all my love, Craig. <laughs> Craig. Well, man, they can't all be fucking exciting names, right? <laughs> I like <laughs> <laughs> the basic names. Yeah, but Craig, I mean... Craig. Yeah. Right, Greg? Gregory. Every, every character. No, it's Craig. Craig. Dude's Craig name's... Dude, he's, his name's Craig. That's it. Craig. Craig. Guns. All right, Bob. Mr. Originality. <laughs> That's Bartholomew Osiris Basil. I've got go... I've, sorry, I've got to go to the toilet. Okay. <laughs> Did a toilet break, Daniel. So after finding this uh, this note uh, on the on the young man's body, um, yeah, well, this is where you guys are now. It's all up to you. Is it? I think any... I will. Um, Sorry, I think I will keep this letter. Because uh, if this Abigail is uh, somewhere in town, then maybe she would like to know what has happened. So I'll just kind of put it somewhere safe. Cool. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Do we see any of that town? Do we see... um... Do you see the town? Yeah, no. Danish. Not Danish. 
has to that's the elves you're still on the trade route cool um, can we see into the cave yes you found two dead bodies in there is that it yes. this is a shallow like thing yeah it's not deep it's just like right. a little okay uh, small dugout area into mm-hmm. the hillside it's not yeah, a cool. cave cave roger um Roger, Roger. Mm. I mean, you can climb under there with all the blood if you really fancy it and have a look. No, I'm alright. Yeah, they have anything else on them, um, like any any gold or anything? The uh, the, the 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 older one is carrying uh, five copper pieces. You, uh, you, can make time. you can make the assumptions of anything else. Hmm. If anybody wants some copper, this guy's got some. I'll have it. Anything, anything for the pension. Yeah. What yeah. about um, the bandits? Do they have anything? Ah, well, if you wish to investigate the bandits, you can investigate the bandits. Yeah, I'll go do that. I'm very good in that. Yeah, I'll, I'll There's a seventeen plus six. Uh, Twenty three. Cool. Um, yeah, you look. You look. Over, you look over the bandit number one, which will be the dwarf one, because he's like the closest to you. Cool. Um, first, you check the top half. Um, nothing much. I mean, he's wearing rud- rudimentary armor. Nothing. Uh, nothing special. Um, as you get to the bottom half of his body. Uh, you find a small coin pouch around his waist uh, with four silver pieces in it. Mm. Um, we'll carry on. The, uh, the other bandits, again, both have small coin purses on them. Uh, and altogether, you will get two more silver pieces and seven more copper pieces. Yay! Uh, how many copper? Sorry? Seven. Was it seven copper? Sieben. Who wants to Who wants um, to split it? How many copper pieces? How many silver? Yeah. Oh, the copper? You... No, you uh, I've got seven it. copper. I've got um, six sil- silver, so... Oh, I don't... I'm not bothered. I'm not so that. I can make a note on my... Uh, other possessions. I'm not bothered about that. You're not bothered about that. Says well, the one who wants to go yeah, nick anything about, for his pension. Well, I can't be bothered splitting it, can I? I you know, how many, how many just, just, you're giving it away. I'll, I'll have it, you know. How many silver? Two, did you say? Um, I found six silver and seven copper. Whoever wants to split it. <laughs> I just want to know so I'm putting down the right amount. Bob, well, Bob seems to have got angry over the fact that you're not just giving him the money. He won't split it with you. So, well, you know what? Just, 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 yeah, just have it amongst yourself. All right. I'll put it in my inventory then. Yeah, that's fine. You, well, you, found, you found it when you're 23. Put it away, Edda. Mm. I was just trying to be nice. I'm calling, I'm calling dibs on it if he dies. <laughs> I'll call dibs on it. That makes me sad. That just puts volume in now. Dibs on Adder's coin purse if he dies. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's probably going to be the first to die anyway, let's be honest. <laughs> You're just a child, aren't you? <laughs> Should we uh, perhaps rest here for a moment just to kind of, uh, you know, catch the bearings, you know, and um, have a, a bit of a rest? But we just woke up. If you yes, feel like you need to, I'm up for that. You know, for, for those of us to the worst wearing, you know, maybe we should uh, recover and just... Uh, oh, oh, hang on a minute. Let me hold me. 166 what? Yes, for us, they're a little bit the worst wearing. Where... What? Where are you from? 
<laughs> Still haven't decided. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, you know, some some of us took a hit. So you know, if if we feel like we need to, um, feeling wearing of the worst. Yeah, you. Oh, you'll be all right. Lad. I've had worse in my time. I tell you. I'm, Mm -hmm. I'm like 166 yeah, years old, mate. You know, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm all right. I'm all right. I reckon we should just press on. I mean, we, you know, if you want to have a rest, you, the younger generation, you know, can't handle it. I mean, well, listen, if you, if you, I trust your judgment. So if you feel we can press on, then maybe we do it. Well, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, on we press. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Cool. Right. Um, yeah. So uh, you you gather you gather your as 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 you start to gather yourselves together, um, and you start heading off. You hear behind you uh, the 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 clipping and clopping of footsteps. Oh no! Fuck I, I shouldn't have trusted you, old man. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you all about? And uh, as as you turn around and look behind you. The, the mule that was standing by the roadside next to the cart has started to follow you at the time. Oh. I, wish, I wish to tame this mule. I wish to have it as a, as a friend. You want the mule? I want the mule, yes. He was a companion. Overly keen on him. <laughs> you can, uh, yes. I think you can turn around and attempt to do something if you wish. Okay, maybe I do some sort of, uh, I don't know, Animal handling animals checks or whatever. Handling yeah. animals check. Yes, this one. Uh, hmm. uh, I got 15. Okay. As the, uh, the, 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 the mill comes over, the head down, um, as it gets closer to you, it the head sort of almost goes round the back and it starts nosing and nudging up against the backpack. Where you would be carrying... Food perhaps, yes, okay. Okay, so I'll get the food out and I'll give it a little bit and try and coerce it that way. Quite happy, yeah, that's fine. The, 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 mule, the, mule, the mule eats the, the, uh, the carrot and uh, let's, let's go with the parsnip um, that, you, that you hold out in front of it like it hasn't eaten for possibly days. Um, very long and drawn in the face, this old mule. Um, but yeah, they, they, this mule seems to uh, be willing to follow you. I'll just have my um, animal. If you don't mind, I'd like to. Uh, I feel sorry for this animal. I'd like to relieve it of its burden and take some of its packs off its back. And oh, I thought carry... you were going to say something else. Okay, yes, relieve no, it of its no. burden <laughs> with its packs. <laughs> yes, what are you worried about? I'm here as well. I got to be honest with you. I, I I've just you. made a friend, and then you talk about you know. Okay, relieving it. Relieve it. Burden. Well, relieve it. <laughs> what were you doing, Mojo? Disgusting, filthy, filthy mind you. <laughs> Mojo, sure was just, uh, I'm just checking my uh, things. So I'm sure I had a uh, a uh, thing for big animals, but. Oh, sorry. Drago's tame this mule. First, my friend, you me. No. You want to take everything away from me? No, yeah. No, I wanted to for future reference. That was all. You want, you want, to, you want to take some of the stuff off of the back of the mule, do you? Not really. Oh, the Bob was the one who was asked that. Uh, yeah, no, just you know, just to. Yeah, just to be nice to the, the mule. Yeah, I mean, the, the bags that are on the back of the mule, um, bear in mind, I can't cut them off of the model. Um, Can you please do that? No. <laughs> they're, they're, oh, here we go again. Oh, I won't be immersed then. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, the bags <laughs> oh, are on the back of the mule, containing nothing but old cloth, um, some small bits of leather, mm. but no, nothing nothing overly uh, worth keeping. So you can yeah, just, just chuck that on the floor. Throw it all to the roadside, leave it with the wagon, yeah? Yeah. Fine. So, yes, so you start heading your way into town. 
uh, pulling your mule. What uh, what are we going to call this this filthy animal? Any ideas? Oh, it's Donkey. your friend Drago. <laughs> I think you should call it. Yeah. Well, I will. I will. Um, I think I will call it Mo because Mo is uh, mule oh. in my language. So let's call it Mo. What is your language? I still don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm piecing it together as we go. You <laughs> say uh, Mo or Mo? Mo, like M O Mo. Mo. M-O. M-O. So what's that, Mo? Then? Mo the mule. It's Mo, Mo the mule. That actually has the right ring to it, to be fair. <laughs> or Mo the mule. Mo the mule. Oh. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so the, the adventurers, they, uh, they start their way as you uh, continue heading north along the, tra- along the trader's route. Um, along, along this journey, you start to see more and more abandoned wagons. Um, nothing on them at all. Shattered, splintered wood, broken wheels, broken barrels. Uh, possibly from uh, hijackers, uh, bandits and etc. of the likes that you would have already have faced on this journey. As you, as the forest starts to thin and you start to make your way out onto a huge uh, plain of uh, green open fields, farmland, as far as the eye can see, um, you start to make your way now towards a large stone built uh, walkway which leads across the centre of all of this farmland. Oh, it's nice, isn't it? As you, and, and you're making your way up onto the, you're going to go up, or are you going to carry on down on the farm? Oh, what do they? I'll give you an option. Hmm. So, we'll go down to the farm, shall we? What do you reckon? You stay, staying on the green, or are you going to head up onto the walkway? What do you reckon? What way you head down to the farm? What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. What? Yeah. What's that? That's not. That's not anything. Let's go down there. Down the farm. Yeah. Right. Well, I thought it's nice down there. What way could you take? No, yeah. it's, it's farm land. There's not a farm. No barns or anything. It's just open fields. Sheep and cows, that's who you're going to be walking past. It's me. Oh, for you. well, in that case, uh, I say stick to the trap. Yeah, let's go to the town. Whatever you guys want to do. Stick to the trap. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we might as well stick to the trap. You know, I just want to get to the elves. It feels yeah. like forever that we've been well, trying to get. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure uh, Mo will appreciate it anyway. So it's the 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 joy of the campaign over a one shot. This is Mojo. As the uh, so as as you make your way up onto this huge um, stone built, um, we call it a walkway now. Um, giant walls either side pillars of stone carved uh out of granite um as you start walking along higher and higher you get the picturesque countryside now uh, glowing in the uh, the midday the midday sun farmland and, and just and just basically fields uh, sheep cows uh, horses running free of the running free of the land. Um, as you continue to walk along this this causeway, um, ahead of you, approximately a hundred feet ahead of you, you can see on the walkway uh, a barricade, rudimentary barricade, uh, built up of crates, boxes, um, and barrels, and. S- Sex. Who, who's who's by the barricade? Can we see I, anyone? No. 
not, right. not removable. So it's like fully across the path? Yes. Right. Fill, fill, fills the entire walkway. But approximately 20 feet wide. Mm. We do um, perception to see if we can find anything out of the ordinary. Aside from the barricade, <laughs> are you uh, and are you still just gonna you just gonna walk up to it and look at it? Just just from like more or less where we are, would we be able to do one to see if there's anything like um, like any traps on the way towards it, or anyone kind of hiding like somewhere? Yeah, 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 if, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, if you want to roll a, a communal. Are we doing perception or investigation? He wanted to for traps, so it depends. Invest Are we all doing it? Yeah, we'll do a communion one. To see what you can see, CC. That one. Awesome. Oh, perception. Oh, That's one. Yeah, we'll I've go got, perception. I've got a two. Right, it's perception or investigation. I'm going to go with investigation. Yeah, cool. uh, you can choose on this one, because... Either or. Six six. Okay. Investigation. Perception, I got 20. Franco's doing well tonight, isn't he? He's, he's getting my luck. I'm the one who usually gets the 20s, the 19s, and the 18s, and all that. But I've, as, I've, I've not had any of them tonight. Good. As, <laughs> <laughs> as you're walking a lot, as you're walking, you know, a hundred feet, ninety feet, eighty feet away from this, uh, this this built-up uh, wooden, wooden barricade, uh, effectively, you don't see any traps um, as such uh, on the walk. But what you do see are lots of arrows um, laying on the floor. Um, Remnants of a possible battle or fight that was had uh, on this walkway. Um, some small splatters of blood, uh, nowhere near what you've already seen on your travels. Um, especially with Mojo dismembering that poor dwarf fella. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, no, 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 no traps as such. Uh, as I say ab about the, the wall of crates. Um, it stands about 15 feet high, 20 feet wide, um, hard, large, sturdy wooden boxes. Um, no, real, no real way uh, around it without climbing off of the, the wall with a, a good 50, drop, 50 foot drop on the side. Um, I'd like to shout over... Just to see if I get a reply. <laughs> Just want to shout over. Here! Anybody over there? And, and as 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 Bob screams, um, from you're still like eighty feet away. Oh. <laughs> so, um, you haven't heard any. No reply. Oh well, can we go closer and yeah, Bob do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, are you all getting closer, or just Bob, or what are we do? Yeah. I'm just imagining that um, thing that went viral, wasn't it? That when he goes, What's your name? Tony! What's your name? Yeah, Tony! Fuck you, Tony! Fuck you, I can see Bob doing it now. I can, I can as well. Oh, no, I, I could see Glondomir doing that as well. Because he would have a way of doing it. You, well. you get your. You're gonna you're gonna walk up to how far away from this, this do you want to be? Uh, right up to it. Because Bob wants to shout, so what's? Oh, I'll get nice and close, so I can be heard. Well, right up to it. Right up to it. You heard me. I'm gonna keep about forty feet back. <laughs> so Bob, like, you're prone by the looks of it. Same, same here. So Bob, you're on your own. Hello, anyone hear me? Yeah, what do you want? Well, I we know what this bleeding bloody roadblock's all about. It's to keep out bandits like you. You're not having my stuff. You see this shield? 
No, there's boxes in the way. Well, get somewhere you can see. Surely you get to the top. Look, can you see this? <laughs> this is the mark. This is the site of the Grey Wardens. That's what yep. we are. We're not bandits. We're Grey Wardens. Uh, so you're too far away. Now show me the oh, shield, and you can through the boxes. You can see the, the, just that one eye sort of like. Yeah, you see right. that? Oh. I'm Where do you want it? <laughs> 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 What was that? He's aiming the javelin through the. Take the javelin. I aim it for a fucking hole. Let's see. You want to see something? (laughs) Is that happening? No. Let's try not to stab (laughs) someone in the eye. The eye, the eye, the the eye is still there. He goes, "What shield are you showing me?" He's holding the shield right in front of the hole. Oh, that shield! Uh, yeah, you see, yeah, Grey Warden. That's Grey a, Warden. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the sign of the Grey Wardens. Yeah, you're right there. Yeah. Did, did you kill a Grey Warden and take it off of him? No, I'm bleeding Grey Warden. We're all Grey Wardens, even the doggy. <laughs> even the doggy. <laughs> even me, <laughs> oh, or Mo. Yeah. As 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 you point out, the mule. He looks up. He goes, "That mule looks familiar. I recognise him." Really? Yeah, that was Craig's meal, that. Really? You, you can recognise it? Yeah, there's not many, uh, mules, not many mules around here. Well, I've got some bad news. Poor old Craig, boy. Jumped by bandits. Not us. We're not the bandits, as we've fully established. And uh, they tried to jump us. And we done them in. And we so took the mule. You. Craig, what about Craig's father? Actually, I can't do it all. He's, uh, I'm afraid he's... Elderly man, looks a bit like you, just... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's, uh... I'm afraid there's there's bad news there as well. Oh. Yeah, he's passed on, unfortunately. Have you got any... Why did he start sounding like... Uh, Dan Sand is starting to sound more and more like Jason Statham in an ITV detective drama, breaking the news that fucking someone's been dying. You're getting more and more like Jason Statham doing the detective from the ITV drama. Well, sexy, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, well, so. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, where was I? This, this was the voice. Let's see, I got it. I'm, I'm here. Right, yeah. Uh, yeah um, uh, 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 so Craig and his father, bandits. Yep. You've got his mule. Yeah, I told you. And I told you how we got the mule. You're I, not listening. What's up here? I'm afraid uh, this all sounds a little bit too fishy to me. I, I can't let you through on that. Well, we're bleeding grey waters. Uh, a roll us of persuasion then. We're doing bleeding grey waters. <laughs> Six. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh hang oh. on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Yeah, oh, sorry, dude. The uh hang on. Ru- rumor has it that the Grey Wardens are dead. We had a we had an army pass through here a couple of days ago. Well they get through this. Bloody, bloody box wall you put up. Well, difficult to stop a whole army coming through. Especially as Captain Logan well, was in there from we Denver, make, you know. Stop we talking, I'm telling you a story. <laughs> we were made Grey, grey Wardens before they died. We were off on, the, on, on our own and the rest of them were killed. We're the last of the Grey Wardens that we know of. Oh, that, that, that'll please Captain Logan. Very, very proud he was when he found out all the Grey Wardens were dead. Mm. Right, we were very proud. He, he was crying, and all he could do to put a smile on his face. Mm. What, and he but, come through here. But, 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 but I'm afraid I, I can't believe you're Grey Wardens. I can't. Well, we are. Get used to it. We've already bloody told well, you. And <clears> I've already shown you my mark. Right. What, what? What can we do? What can we do to get through here? Through. Roll a better persuasion check with a six. 
<laughs> or we just get Adder to throw acid splash through that little bloody hole and burn a boxy eye out. Yeah, right, I'll tell you what, you let us through, or we're going to fucking knock this thing down. Oh, right, Not very Ashley Warden like, is it? Persuasion roll. Well, I'll be honest, you're being wrong. Oh, he's a natural 20 plus the, plus the one. <laughs> there you go, that's more like it. So, was that Mojo's now talking to me? Yeah, I'll just rather persuasion. Okay. Okay, you've got to talk to me first. Yeah. <laughs> right. As my little friend has already told you, we are Grey Wardens. He's shown you the mark of the Grey Wardens on his ship, on his shield. I've got mine actually branded on my bloody skin, which bloody hurt, I'll have you know. Yeah, yeah. bad enough because I had a fucking pain in the ass uh, uh, as well. I'll well, tell you what, I'll tell you what, you've either got to be a great ward or a bloody idiot to have it put on your skin like that. <laughs> uh, uh, At this moment in time, I'm thinking both. Right? <laughs> Even I'm thinking both. But honestly, we are great wardens. We're the last of the great wardens that we know of. We know that the majority of them, all the ones that we knew prior, they're all dead. Well, in, in that case, uh, uh, give me a few seconds and we'll, we'll clear away for you. Well, Thank you very much. Mojo, I'll tell you, I'll fucking knock this thing down in a minute. <laughs> as they start, as they start uh, you, you hear moving and lumping and uh, boxes start to move. As, um, as with a couple of clicks, the wall of boxes, almost hinged, swings open as they open it for you to walk through behind uh, this barricade, 20 militia stand, um, some with pitchforks, some with uh, harvesting scythes, uh, any kind of weaponry that they could get, the, get their hands on as they all stand there, uh, looking at you walk through this uh, homemade gateway. That's you. not going to make me feel welcome. You bloody idiots. Can I slap the bloke that opened the door? Really? Yeah. <sighs> Can... Why would you do that? I'd let you through. Yeah, we, yeah, blooming delayed us. We've been on the road for how long? Day two, two, almost two days. See me, I'm 166 years old, and you're bloody talking to me about telling me I'm not a grey wall. I'll tell you, I'm a bloody grey wall, and you're not believing me. Well, try and be a bit more persuasive. Breathe, Bob. Breathe. Start slapping me. Right, I'm going to sit down in a minute. I've got a, I've got a good mind to. Good can can we try and defuse oh, this? Oh, all right, look, 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 look. All right, enough, enough, enough. I need to talk to somebody with a bit enough. of... Enough, you need to pipe down, Sunshine, both of you, and you, Bob. Pipe down. You say getting us nowhere, right? Now, <laughs> one at a time. Why, why are you laughing at me, Bob? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bob. <laughs> Bob is not laughing. Bob's, Bob's sitting down and going... <laughs> Turning in, turning into Jeff. Right now, what are we gonna do? What do you want to do? I like an apology for getting you. slapped in the face after I let you through. No one's gonna slap you in the well. I might if you don't pay it up. All of you, everyone will be getting a bloody slap. Now listen, what do you guys want to do? Don't all jump in at once. What do we want to do? Who are you talking to? Everyone else. I'm talking to everyone else. Like, I'm not standing on my fucking own in the middle of a field. I'm talking to myself. What do you want to do? I want an apology for getting slapped in the face. Oh, yeah, all right. Asking, all what do you want right. to do? You, you can apologise, yes or no. If oh, not, move on. Apologise to this tart. Hang on. I am deeply sorry for slapping you around the head. I accept. Right, now that's out of the way. Now, what's next? What's next? I don't know. I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to this guy. And, well, I'm talking to you. Don't be rude. And I'll point at the 
Dragonborn. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the all the bloody lizard skin over there. The, the six foot seven <laughs> guy is just as intimidating as the Goliath. So it's just like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to that guy. It's like, now, as you haven't shouted yes, at me, nor complained, or just basically looked like you want to take my head off. Noted. What would you be, gentlemen, be travelling into Lothering for? We are trying to look for the elves. The elves in Cantonment. Oh, we, the Dalish. We... Yeah, they're, they're, they're further out east, they are. A um, couple of days travel out to them. You might want to... Uh, Stock up. You might want to put your, put yourself up in Lothering. We got plenty of lodgings. We got a nice tavern, fresh food. That sounds like a plan. Um, talking about Craig, do you know anyone called Abigail? Ah, lovely girl. She works on the dairy farm just over the back of the tavern. She, uh, her and Craig were due to be married. I do. Uh, yeah, that's not going to happen. Oh, sorry. Bit of dairy pick this one, isn't he? <laughs> As I continue with my conversation with the Dragonborn. <laughs> okay, so we'll have to sadly <laughs> tell her the news. I, 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 I'd say. Uh, She'd be glad to know, but be kind. Of course, man. Very fragile young girl. But if, yeah, you, head, if you head down the causeway, about quarter of a mile, there's a staircase that will lead you down into the town. And uh, or maybe maybe I should break the news to her. I know how to do it, maybe subtly and gently, and that. <laughs> I don't think she would like to hear it from old Jason Statham yeah. over there. Well, everyone just stands there in stunned silence. Basically, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Everybody right. sort of just draws back a little bit. And just kind of, really? Yeah. <laughs> is there any recommend on the lodging, is there any recommendations that you could to, you know, that you can recommend to stay. Plenty of the folk in town, all friendly. Uh, just find the locals. I mean, we got rooms in the tavern. Uh, I'm sure there's. Uh, you can find some room in the barn for the larger ones that might not necessarily fit in the beds. You cheeky bastard! Let's try not to start a fight, please, Mojo. I thought I was being quite polite by offering you. Being a barn, I'm not an animal. You might be a bit big for the beds. I was just offering you a roof over your head there, lad. Yeah, not when there's donkey dung and all that lot all in there. You'll be all right. I slept with more than that. Worse than that, even. Well, yeah. the stench you left in my uh, bed in the other night. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, well, it, it, it looks like uh, old Craig, Craig and Arthur's mule has uh, taken a liking to you, too. Uh, it is a beautiful ass. <laughs> You're ready for that for <laughs> all that, that time. Is coming. I just he beat me to You're it. You're ready for that. <laughs> he beat oh, me to God. it. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely ready for that. My donkey, my rules. <laughs> yeah. Touché. Oh God! Oh God! As 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 I say to you, yeah. As I say to you, gentlemen, uh, make you make your way down there. About a quarter of a mile, and there's a large staircase that takes you down into the town. Um, been a pleasure talking to you, I, I think. Thank you, thank you for you. the information. And if you truly, so are, if... if you truly are Grey Wardens, uh, please visit our chantry. Um, they will be more than willing to help you with any uh, questions you may have. But you um, we do what we like. Very well. You're a grumpy one, you. All right. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm rubbing up the wrong way, didn't you? Either way, I appreciate the information. Thank you. 
and uh, keep up the good work. Team local stuck up, isn't he? And he he, he, tur- he turns around, he pushes the gate shut, and as as you see, the the all of these crates get pushed closed. You see that they've all been nailed together with uh, pieces of wood to make one big doorway. And <laughs> put a piece of wood over the back. <laughs> so budget. <laughs> Let's carry on and go to the town before um, we just try and make another enemy. As you slow, as as you uh, continue to make your way, the the quarter of a mile down the causeway, again, still looking looking out across farmlands and uh, now trees and forests. A beautiful lake uh, shimmers in the sunlight. As you slowly start to approach an old town, you can see uh, a church tower with a bell standing proud in the centre of the town. And that's where we're going to stop for this week. What? (laughs) Too early. (laughs) Why does it tell? I've got got, got Stefan dying. I've got to look after him. See? Me and Ray go early mornings just because you only work two hours a day. Yeah, that's true. My God, these misfits are not making this easy on me, are they? But uh, another episode down, uh, slightly further into our journey. Um, And let's see how it goes next week. And uh, thank you for watching.